What up guys, your boy Carthus, and today we're doing a video that makes you overpowered early. Everything that I'm putting in this video is extremely easy to get to. I will go play by play how to do it, so that way you don't have to think or do much about it. All you have to do is watch the video, and you'll be good to go. We're going to start off by getting four weapons and then a set of armor. So let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. Starting off, we're going to go all the way west. This is the very beginning of the game. Go all the way west, and we're going to go to this encampment over here, or this fortress, whatever you want to call it. You can start by going straight in through the front if you want. You will aggro a lot of people if you're going through the front. So I like to take the side over here. Either way, we're going to aggro people. It's not that big of a deal. We're not here to fight. We're just here to run in, grab the item, and get out. So as you see, we're hugging the wall. Up to our left is going to be the path we want to go out. So to our right is the item. You'll see a big man here. Just try to get his attention to make him do like a heavy attack. Once he does that, just run past him and grab the item. Now you have the Ingling Sex. Now I went over this dagger in a previous video. It's very, very strong if you want to stop parrying and start dodging. Now, before we head out, because we are going to go to England, make sure you grab every gold item that you see here and then move on out. To England! And when you get to England, go ahead and set up your settlement. This way we have a fast travel spot so we don't have to ride all the way back because we are going to be going deep for some of these items. Don't worry, it doesn't take very long to get there and it's very, very easy to get past everybody. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we're gonna go all the way southwest into Wessex and we're going to the city of Winchester. We'll be grabbing a powerful dagger by the name of Sutinger's Claw. I know you're probably worrying about losing your stamina, but if you go ahead and guide your horse to get on or your mount to get onto the main trail, you get your stamina back and you stay at full speed. Okay, once we're in Winchester, go ahead and find the furthest left high point. This is where we want to be. You want to go ahead and climb up here and begin to synchronize just for a fast travel. Now, looking back in the map, now that we're in town, we want to go for this item right here. It's very, very close. As you can see, that was the high point we were just at, and we want to find this hole in the ground. Now, if you can't find the hole in the ground, just get on the map itself and look for the stairs right here. It's right next to us, and that's what we want to go for. Go ahead and jump on in. I'm gonna show you where the item is and then I'll show you how to get to it. Most of you probably already have this, but if you don't, this should help. So the item is sitting behind this wall and you have a locked door blocking your path. Go back to the water and dive in and follow this exact route and you should be there in no time. Since Eivor swims at an Olympic level, he swims extremely fast for no reason. I mean, I don't know anybody swims this fast. If they do, then I'd be thoroughly impressed. I mean, look at him just rip through here. Now it's pretty self-explanatory what to do right here. Go ahead and open the door. Work your way back across. You'll see to your left that there is a wall that can be destroyed. All that's behind there is just, you know, materials to be able to craft and everything and upgrade your gear. If you want to go ahead and do that, do that. It's going to be there. You might as well. It's extra treasure. So what we want to do is grab one of these, walk back across, Go into the door that we just unlocked. Right here. Veer left, jump down, and blow up the other destroyable wall. While in here, don't forget to grab one of the codexes. It's laying right there on the table. Now this is the other dagger that I went over before in my previous video. We all know what it does. It adds extra critical damage, which is huge. And when you get the dagger right off the bat, it comes flawless. So you only have to upgrade it one more time for it to be mythical. As you can see right here, the dual dagger build is OP. It's absolutely busted. So if you're okay with just getting these two items, go for it. The dual dagger build is Honestly, my favorite build in the game. I feel like it's very, very fast paced and puts out a high DPS. So if you want to be a dagger guy, these are the two daggers you want. Like I went over in the previous video, you can get the Culpus, but that's completely up to you. Okay, the next area starting from the main point, we want to go east to East Anglia and right here in this little area is where you want to be. So now we're going for the third weapon. Don't worry about this area too much. It will be a little bit over your level, but you don't have to fight anybody and you don't have to sneak around either. You can pretty much do what I'm doing right now. Just run straight in, grab the item and run straight out.
So the Carolingian Longsword is a really good early game weapon and it goes into the late game too because of the high critical damage that this thing can put out with a five stack. This weapon has huge attacks with awesome rundown features like we're showing here. You can sweep attack pretty much everybody. It really, really shows its stuff in big crowds. As you see, we got massive damage going on here. I find this weapon to be a lot of fun, especially when I'm in like a crowd like this. And I do believe this may have the fastest attack speed out of all the two-handed weapons. Now the next area we want to go to is up in the northeast in Lincolnshire, and we want to head right here into this little area. Now before you go, make sure that you have the skill Advanced Assassination. There's a guy that we have to kill that has a key on him, and the only way you can kill him early is with this ability. Now that we're here, make sure you do as exactly as I do and come in from this side right here. It makes everything a lot easier. There are many guards, and you have to be able to sneak past them and kill the big man. Are we rushing in, or are we going sneaky-beaky-like? Stay frosty. Cheers, big fella. Make sure you loot the key, unlock this, and get the hell out of there. I really enjoy the Battle Sparth. I think it's really, really good. It's obviously at its strongest when you are surrounded by enemies. The more enemies you're surrounded by, the higher up your attack goes. This weapon has insane base damage. As you see, we're going to be crushing people <laughs> into pieces. Axes are great in this game. I feel like they did a really good job with the way that they look and how they feel and how they play. I mean, if we're going to play a Viking game, you might as well play with an axe. I feel like that was one of their main weapons. Of course, they did the whole sword and board and everything like that. But axes were pretty much a staple of being a Viking. There are a couple other really strong axes in the game. This is one of the easier ones to get to earlier. There's another one called Lagatha's Axe, which is all the way to the top north if you want to go up there. I can make a video on that later. I'm sure you can find one. But what it does is it stacks crit the more enemies around you, and this stacks damage the more enemies that are around you, so them together are broken. Okay, now we're going to head northwest to Shropshire. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I really don't care. This is where you want to go right here. It's like a little bandit camp or something like that. Now, what you see here is how you want to position yourself on the map. If you look to my right, you're going to see the front gate. If you come right here and just move the path that I'm going, no one will be aggroed. Now, what we're doing here is grabbing our first piece of armor, and the armor set that we're actually going for is the Brigadine armor set, which is honestly one of the best armors, if not the best armor in the game for pretty much every situation. All right, guys, instead of fast traveling back, let's just go ahead and exit the camp here. We'll follow the river to the north. Zoom in until you see a set of cross horns or a little drinking game. I'm going to push to the left right there. Now you can see we're zoomed in. You want to find these stairs on the map. So go to the stairs. You'll see a boat sitting in front of a destroyable wall. Go up to the boat and just shoot one of the barrels. Now, once you get inside, it's very, very hard to get lost because it's a very linear path. Just follow it all the way through you'll see a wall that you can break open it's made of wood and then after that you just pull out a stone and the item will be to your left now the next thing we want to get is just southeast a little bit of where we're at and it's an ability that we're going to need to be able to get the next item so you want to stop off here first because we're going to head this direction anyways while here you're going to need to find a key the reason we're finding the key is because you come into the back door to be able to get in the back door is a lot easier than going to the front door here you can come in the front door but there are a lot of guards in the front door once you have the key come around the back side Open it up. You'll see the guards. You can just run past them because most of them have their back turned. Run straight in, grab the item, and you can run straight out. Power up! 
Now moving forward, we're gonna go a little bit more southeast to Kent into a place called Beamsfield or Bemisfield. I'm not sure what it, what it actually is. I think it's a, a logging town. But what we're trying to do here is grab two keys. You're gonna need two keys to be able to unlock the chest. So all you have to do is be pretty stealthy and you should be all right. Follow the exact path and you will not aggro anybody. I am very, very sneaky, sir. I fear you're underestimating the sneakiness, sir. Sneaky, sneaky, sir. So as you can see, once we grab the key, we just hug the wall to come back out. We're gonna veer right. And if you want, you can stay in stealth the whole way, but once you touch the bushes or the trees over here, you can start sprinting and no one will aggro on you. The rest of the way is pretty much easy. So what we're going for now is the second key because you need two keys to unlock this chest. There's only one guard at each building that we're going to, so it's gonna be very, very simple to get around them. Just follow this path as I'm doing right now. There's gonna be a window to our right. We're gonna jump right in, grab the key, turn around, jump back out, push left as fast as we can. Now we're gonna go up to the last building. You don't really have to stealth if you don't want to. You can just sprint into the building and not worry about this guy aggroing on you because as soon as we get this item, we're just gonna get out of here. So if you wanna run, go for it. Now, instead of teleporting back, we're just gonna veer more to the east over into Canterbury. We're obviously gonna to try to get the synchronization from the high point. Once you have it, just jump straight off. Follow this path exactly. No one will aggro on you, so you don't have to stealth around. Just run into the church. Go to the left bookshelf or scroll shelf, whatever you want to call this. Climb up to the top, pull out your bow and shoot the lock. Climb one of these columns. The door is now open. Go in, go to the back, go downstairs. And this is why we got the ability earlier, because now we're going to blow up the ground. And there you go. Now, from where you're at, you can push even further east. We're going to get the last piece of the brigadine armor. It's on the coastline. You'll see I'm on the back side of this fortress or area. Just jump off. And you'll see there's a cave underneath. Now, there's a second way down if you want to go through the stairs, but you have to go through a lot of guards. I find this to be the fastest and the most effective way to get through. Just swim to the edge over here, climb up, and veer left. You may aggro guards, but it's not a big deal. We're going to use the ability that we got earlier and shoot into the ground. Once you're underground, the guards will lose aggro, and you can just fast travel out of here. Now you have the full Brigadine set. Now this is one of my favorite armors in the game just based on how high your damage and defense is. Now you do have to have multiple targets around you to be able to proc this, but let me show you how defensive tanky you can be. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Get out of here. Anyways, that pretty much sums it up, guys. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps this channel a lot. It helps me out a lot. In the future, I'm going to do Cyberpunk. So be looking forward to those videos. Anyways, you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the future. Later guys.